Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and today is tip 346, and I'm calling it definite, definiteness of purpose. And uh, it's a phrase I got out of this book by Napoleon Hill, Outwitting the Devil. And I thought it was kind of interesting because it relates to a lot of what I guess I think my weight loss journey looks like. And I'm backwards. I flipped the phone around today, so it looks a little different. But what happened is um, I wanted you to be able to see the book, Napoleon Hill, Outwitting the Devil. And it kind of made me think about our journeys and how we have to continue to move forward and like all of the different theories about uh, take your shot, adjust when you get down the road, take your shot, adjust when you get down the road, keeping yourself moving forward. And that is the definiteness, being definite about a purpose, about moving forward. You want to, I, I want to feel good about my journey. I want to move forward in it. But I thought it was interesting, some of these passages, because this, again, is a book that was recommended through one of the mentoring groups, and I'm sure by a couple of them. I'm sure Chris Noggle has recommended anything related to Napoleon Hill. Doc V has. I know Sharon Lecter spoke in Doc V's group before, and she is very big on Napoleon Hill. But what I thought was really interesting is there's a quote in here that, that is a quote supposedly from the devil, and it says, once any person hesitates, procrastinates, or becomes indefinite about anything, he is just one step removed from my control. And I thought, wow, that, that's like so telling in so many ways. And it, it just reminds me that in this journey, I'm going to always have to continually make adjustments and keep moving forward because... The thing that gets me in trouble is when I stay, stay in a spot or fall back into old habits. And like even myself, what did I do for the beginning of the year? I added more steps to my day just because I enjoy it. I like being outside. I see the bunnies. Um, I'll see sunrises, sunsets. That feels good to me, and I enjoy that. But the other part of it is that I want to keep moving forward, and, and having forward momentum feels good to me. And this, I, this quote, like... Uh, there's a couple of them in here because there's a whole chapter on where I guess if I'm remembering right Napoleon Hill is the person who interviewed a bunch of extremely rich people and then got what it was that they do differently in their life and they're all talking about that they just never give up if you get an idea if you get a purpose if you get a goal you just keep moving towards it if something doesn't work then you just try another path and we hear that so many times from so many different people and I guess today I just wanted to kind of talk about that you know all habits save only that of love and definiteness of purpose may lead to a habit of drifting and it's kind of interesting how this book is talking about it is too easy to drift and when we have a purpose we have to continue to follow it we need to continue to drive forward and that idea of the devil you're he's one step away from grabbing you when you when you lose when you lose your shift or your momentum um, the person who moves with definiteness recognizes the difference between temporary defeat and failure. When plans fail, he substitutes others, but he does not change his purpose. He perseveres. And we know in all of our journeys in life, we have to persevere. We have to keep pushing forward. They say elephants have perseverance. They push forward no matter what. And I think that's what a lot of us need to kind of remember, is that the journey isn't one... The war isn't one, and, and I, I don't even want to think about war. I want to think in positive ways, but the journey isn't one one in one step. The journey is one when we take one step consistently over a long term, and that is where our journey will start to change. So this idea of perseverance, even in these interviews, and I'll share some more of this as I continue to go forward, but if we want to keep moving forward, we want to keep in our mind that there has to be some more forward direction. That means our comfort circle gets bigger. That means the things that we're familiar with get bigger. That means we educate. We, we look to people who've done it before who can guide us in getting there faster. We, uh, we, never, we never look at something as a failure. It's just a step, a learning step in moving forward. We don't want to get paralyzed and stuck in the same spot for a long period of time. That was something that would happen to me a lot. I would analyze, overanalyze, and try to figure out every possible alternative until finally I had just given up because there were so many things that could go wrong. I never looked at the things that could go right. And maybe that's what this next year is about. Look at what can go right. What can you accomplish because you just kept taking that step? What can go right? Instead of looking at what's going, what could go wrong, look at what can go right. One step could lead you to a whole different life. They always talk about it would be sad to be one step from success and quit. One, 
one step forward can make the difference in your life. We can't keep looking at what we think could go wrong. We got to look at what could be right waiting for us right around that next corner. Um, there are so many great books, and I think that it's all in uh, looking at what can motivate you, what can bring you um, to the next level. Um, here's another like quote from the devil. The time people spend in fearing something would, if reversed, give them all they want in, in the material world and save them from themselves. And I think that is so true. We are our worst enemies because we put the roadblocks up. We put the fear up. We put the, I can't do it up. We put the, it's too hard up. I, we put the, we're not definite of our purpose. We're definite of what we think can block the path, but we're not definite that no matter what, we're going to overcome it. So I think it sounds like a Pollyanna, happy, look positive and optimistic, but we always want to look for the thing to feel good about. We want to be moving forward. We want to feel good about life. We want to expand our comfort circle. We want to be happy. We want to be joyful. If I'm not moving forward, if I'm not working towards a goal, I feel stagnant and that doesn't feel good. So the only way I can move forward is to keep taking those steps, keep taking the shot, making the adjustment and moving forward. So it was just kind of interesting that outwitting the devil, they were talking about definiteness of purpose and I know everybody creates these cliche words and it all kind of comes back to meaning the same thing but it is about not stopping it's about enjoying the journey so that you have the momentum to keep moving forward it's not about how many times you failed it's about how many times you got up because the next time is the time that you'll succeed I'm not sure what words it is that you need to inspire you or to move you forward but try to find those words and don't give up because giving up is kind of like giving into the devil. There's something exciting. If you can look at it from that place of being excited about what the next corner can bring you, then it makes the journey a little bit easier. So happy Monday, everyone, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.